Yo, so when the video first started, I was uh, playing this Blinko's Block Party. This is an NFT game. Y'all should check this out if you got a computer and shit, because this junk, you can already make money off of this game right here. Because uh, you can sell these NFTs that they give you, you unlock them by playing the game and shit. And that's like the future of gaming. But uh, that's not what I'm trying to show y'all in this video. Uh, let me just wait for this to load. And get off of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, so this is the stock right here. This is the spy I was looking at, and I was looking at the charts. Uh, the charts show that this shit gonna go down. You know what I'm saying? And I was saying that if this shit go under 395, that means it's gonna keep going down today. And if it go back up to 397, then that means it's gonna go up today. But uh, the RSI was down, and the MACD was down. Uh, what you can see down there and uh, so that mean the dish is definitely going down you know what I'm saying and then you could also look at the candles and stuff too but this is the four hour chart this is the long term that's what's good to look at the the long term too to see what's going down over the long term because the MACD down like a mother sucker the RSI down like a mother sucker which means that this shit going down bro but um still over the short term if you try and day trade and shit you gotta look at the short term too and uh because that's your entry points and shit so how much you're going to be spending when you get into that shit because you know it's going to go down but still you want to get a good entry point and right here this shit was down like a motherfucker as you can see but this rsi too low so that show you that that shit was going to start going back up so i was like i had to wait to get in on this motherfucker like i was just waiting and waiting to see if it was going to confirm under 395 uh, confirmation but recently I've been seeing that uh, fucking like basically if you if you if you see on the charts that that shit going down like a motherfucker is not really too much of a gamble to just get in and hold that shit but at the same time you got to get in at a good point because you don't want to get in when you could have got a better price like see right now if I had got in I would have ended up losing money because the price of that put that I got in was like at twenty dollars or some shit right now, so I would have been spending like five hundred dollars or some shit or six hundred dollars, and then it, it it was up to like seven hundred dollars I would have been spending at this moment. But because I waited, I got in on that shit like five hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? I could have got in like three ninety if I had been super confident when that shit, cause it, it's gonna shoot back up because the RSI too low. So when that shit shot back up, uh, it was like, I don't want to, I don't want to show you the, I mean, well, it's basically like the shit gonna start shooting back up. I don't know if you want to watch this whole video though. That's why I'm like, I don't know if y'all want to see the whole thing, but I guess I should just leave it on here just so y'all can see the whole thing of how long this shit take. It took like 30 minutes to make like $200. I could have fucking made another thousand a day, y'all, if I had just held that shit, bro. But I was nervous, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm coming off of a loss. And I'm like, fuck that, I ain't trying to lose no money, man. We only gaining out this motherfucker. But the more money you got, the easier it is to be up. So that's why I say, like, yeah, it's all good. But uh, as you can see that uh, it was going down, it was going down, and then the RSI it start coming back up uh, it start doing a, a a fucking what you call it a rally up you know what I'm saying but it don't really rally up but uh, I mean it does go up a bit though as you gonna see in this video it go from like 395 to like almost 397 because the RSI low and then uh, that shit start going back up but um yeah that's that's basically it like uh, what happened today uh, you could I don't know if you want to watch this whole thing but as you can see right here uh, at the 340 mark the RSI it just start going up 
I mean, and the stocks start going up too because the RSI coming back up. Uh, yeah. And then it start going down again, because the MACD down like a mother sucker. But when the MACD start, the, that's the the red lines down here, with the uh, with the, the bars at the bottom. When the MACD start crossing up, that's how you know that shit gonna go up. But when that shit going down, that's how you know that shit going down like a mother sucker. But the RSI, you still gotta watch it because the RSI is the the line with the blue in it. Because uh, when the RSI too low, it's rare that that shit keep going down. Like it can. There's times where it keep going down, but it's rare as fuck that it'll keep going down like that. Uh, Unless it's a fucking recession or some shit like we in right now where stocks just be plummeting and shit. But it always start rebounding. Even just a little bit, that shit start rebounding. The RSI go back up to like 50 or some shit like that. Like just a normal range, 40, 50. But still for this shit right now, 40, I mean 50 is kind of high because uh, that shit selling off. As you can see with those big ass red candles and the, the red candles and shit, it's just a lot of sellers and shit. And I can see why because they about to raise interest heights and shit. I mean, the interest rates they about to raise those shits again, so it make the market go down. Uh, and I'm just like, I don't know who buying right now, but at the same time, you never know. It's always, I mean, it's kind of good to buy when it's low, but at the same time, I'm like, bro, we already know that this shit gonna keep going down, so it's kind of foolish to buy shit right now. But sometimes people have those automatic orders so when you see a stock going down sometimes it ain't gonna keep going down because people got automatic orders on that shit they're gonna buy it and make it go up even if that rally is like a short time that shit's still gonna happen and you could lose money depending on the call or put option that you got and that's why if you're doing day trading and shit and you're not just buying some shit and holding it um which I don't really recommend right now Two with a lot of money With a little bit of money you could do that shit Cause you probably gonna come up Make a couple bucks off of that shit But unless you fucking rich as fuck I would not recommend holding some shit uh, Because you could lose value real quick It just depends on how much you spent on that shit uh, But yeah I just feel like it's better to day trade right now But And hold sometimes when you can't day trade Like uh Cause I got something that I'm holding right now And they was up today But they was down yesterday though So that's how I say If you put too much money in that shit You're gonna be down But over time If you if you play it right You'll be up But yeah So right now You can see that the RSI It start going back up At the freaking uh, Six Or the seven minute mark The RSI start shooting up and shit And the stock start going up too Because And the MACD start to curl up At the bottom and this is that thing that you was looking for when you trying to get on a put and you see that the RSI is down low as fuck you already need to wait until that shit go back up because we already know that it's going to go back up at some point that shit going to pop back up and you don't want to be caught in that shit with a put because you're going to lose a lot of money depending on where you get in at when you could have just waited got in at a cheap ass price and rolled that shit right back down cause you know it's gonna come back down from the other parts of the chart like the 4 hour especially the long term of the chart it showed this shit going down bro so yeah this shit start going up you know what I'm saying uh, I could try to make this video more short for y'all if you don't got time to watch a 30 minute video but uh, as you can see on the other charts it starts showing that it's going up a little bit a little bit but see on the 30 minute that shit's still down uh and then on the hour that shit is like low-key down too i mean it's starting to go down the rsi is like neutral it's at 40 uh fucking and you can see that this shit's starting to grow down again but i already figured that this shit was gonna at least go up to 60 or 50 something because that's what it did last time before it started plummeting as you can see on the rsi line uh yeah and that's normally what the stock do like it'll fucking with the rsi like if that shit get way too high it'll start coming down if that shit get way too low it'll start going up but the trend of the day 
is with the long term chart show. If that shit show that it's going down like a motherfucker, it's most likely going down like a motherfucker unless something happened on the short term where that shit just start rallying. Like it just start keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. So it changed the long term chart. But that shit rare as fuck right now. That shit, I don't feel like that shit about to happen. Because it hasn't happened. Like, all these days that it's been showing that it's going down, this shit consistently went down. Like, it's crucial. And I'm like, hallelujah for that, bro. That I know about this shit. And I'm able to uh, catch it and see and do it. And, like, succeed at this shit. Because, again, I could have made another $1,000 a day, but I was too nervous. I ain't want to lose money, but I should have just trusted in the fact that that shit broke support. That shit going down, bro. It ain't really going back up. But sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes there's false breakouts, like they be saying. So it could show that it broke support and then that shit rally back up like a motherfucker. But so you got to play it safe, you know what I'm saying? It's better to play safe than to be fucked out of your money, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> nobody likes to lose money. I fucking hate that shit. It is not as bad as it used to be because I be making guap like a motherfucker, but still, it's better to win than to lose. And small wins lead to big-ass wins over time. Hell yeah. Yeah, because again, I could have made $1,000 a day. I could have made more than that if I had to put more money in. I would have been up $1,000 like that. But it's just gonna take time and patience. But shit, man, if y'all get on this shit, you practice this shit too. You gonna be making guap, and if you got more guap to get in with, you gonna be making bank like a motherfucker real quick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess I should have showed you how I pick an option too, cause I ain't really show that screen. Uh, but you'll see the option screen by the end of the video. You know what I'm saying? But that's basically what goes on. Uh, the RSI come up like a mother sucker you know what I'm saying uh as you're gonna see in the video and then that shit start going down like a motherfucker I get in um when it, it didn't confirm yet when I got in cause I just figured from the last times that I missed out on making money that because the RSI got to a certain point I knew that that shit was about to start coming down again I didn't really wait for the MACD, but but I already knew because that shit happened to me a couple of days ago too. Like I missed out on a thousand dollars because I wasn't confident in the fact that I had already read the chart that the shit was going down and that it had reached a maximum point of going up and that shit wasn't gonna keep going up no more. So today I had some confidence in myself and the fact that like, bro, last time this shit happened the same way and I missed out on money because I didn't have confidence and the fact that it was gonna go down. So today I was like, fuck that. I'm gonna get in. I see that this shit gonna come back down. And when I got in, it went up a little bit for like a couple minutes and I was down like $120. But before that, I was, it had, it had, it had shot down like, uh, well actually no, when I first got in, it was up and I was down like $60 or some shit. Uh, Cause I had bought like 30 contracts. So I was down like, two points or whatever um but i knew that that shit was gonna come back down but i was i was also kind of like damn is this shit gonna rally but i just figured because the long-term chart showed that that shit going down is gonna go down and then it started breaking down and then that shit started going down and going down and then it was like a crazy ass candle where that shit had a lot of resistance and a lot of support and the price was fluctuating like a motherfucker. I had, yeah, shout out to like, I was up 240. And then that shit went down to like 60. And then it went to, I was like down like um, 120. And then that shit started going down like a motherfucker. And then I, it was, I was up like 420. But then it started going up a little bit. And I was like, fuck, I want to get out. So then I was like only up like 200. And I didn't want to lose more than that, so I just got out. And then if I had just stayed in, I would have been up like a thousand because that shit started going down like a motherfucker again right after that. So, I mean, it's like I made money today. The more I do this shit, the more confident I'm gonna get in myself and the fact that, hey, bro, this shit be doing this, it be doing this, it be doing this, and you could do this, this, and this uh, to make money off of this shit. And I like that. I like. Uh, that is some consistency to the shit. Some days it ain't the same. Some days you can't trade. 
you just gotta have patience with this shit uh and that's cool bro because again you can make a thousand dollars in one day or more like and that's like 10 days of work that's like actually that's like 14 days of work for me because my job be paying me about a thousand dollars after two weeks of work and that's some bullshit but you know what i'm saying it is what it is i ain't gonna have to keep doing that shit forever now i'm gonna fucking be not doing that shit in a little while i'm gonna just be at the crib making money and making music and making video games and making cartoons and shit and like helping people and doing shit that's dope instead of going to my job i mean it's fucking tight to go to my job too because i could talk to people and tell them about this shit you know what i'm saying uh and help poor people that need stuff so it's cool to work too for that aspect even if i don't have to do that shit no more i'll still do it for a little bit but yeah man so that's basically what happened today as you can see the rsi going up and shit right here i think i might i might cut the video short i don't know though i don't know if y'all want to watch this whole thing i mean some people might want to watch it to see exactly how this shit goes and exactly uh, when is a good time to jump in and when is a good time to not jump in so uh, I'll try to tell y'all about my entry point I just wish that I had had that shit recorded too cause uh but I think I remember when I got in I definitely didn't get in yet as of right now on the video uh, and I hope that I can have this shit synced up cause I on the video I kind of recorded I mean I rewinded a little bit and went back while I was recording these vocals which I probably shouldn't have done uh, cause this shit might not be fully synced up now but I mean from my explanation you will still be able to see in the video as of right now on uh, the 16 minute mark that uh, this shit is like the RSI going up like the shit going up and it's like a baby rally right now. But that shit did not last long. At all. Didn't last long at all, bro. I guess I could have just been recording this. As I was doing this shit. But it's all good, bro. I'll get better at recording the videos and stuff, too. Cause this first video it didn't even record with sound i ain't even had the sound recorded on this shit so the video yesterday probably didn't have no sound either but maybe it did maybe it did i'll try to uh see if i can post that video for y'all too so you can see my homie doing this shit as well because he the one that really helped me learn uh the definite ways to do this shit i still got my own shit that i do to be up real quick like a motherfucker uh you know what i'm saying and also like to just watch for certain what that shit more than likely about to do uh because i'll be looking at all the charts i don't just look at the five minute because uh, the homie he just be looking at the five minute mainly or the 15 minute and i don't do that shit i look at the whole thing because it tell you the full thing like it tell you basically what's fucking going down because of course you got to take into account the short term could change the long term but more times than not the long term is going to determine what that shit gonna do like it's gonna shortly rally if that shit's showing short term rally but if the long term is red as fuck and that shit going down that shit going down bro you can guarantee it you just gotta wait you know what i'm saying and that's what i've been seeing that's what i've been gaining more confidence with uh just being for certain i know what's gonna happen because the charts tell you bro like if you look at all the charts and you read that shit right and you look at the candles and like and you look at the volume like uh, the homie ben was talking about uh of who what are they trading and where are they trading at where are they buying and where are they selling and shit that shit can also help you know like where the buyers is at and when they coming out of that shit and see right here this is like at the fucking 18 minute mark you see that this is where i got in i'm pretty sure this is where i got in on a put because i figured that that shit wasn't gonna keep going up i mean the the macd is high as fuck you know what i'm saying but the rsi is at 61 and this is already a sell-off day 
So I figured that this shit was gonna start plummeting. And as you can see, the RSI started going down like a motherfucker. And then it was only a matter of time before I was gonna be up off of my put because uh, the MACD gonna start going down too. But see, the MACD went up higher. So this is when I was like a little bit or, or starting to be a little bit down on my put, but I was still seeing signs that this shit gonna start breaking down, bro. Cause I already knew this shit happened before. like. Uh, and I didn't have the confidence to get in. It's like the put would go, like, it would lose a lot of value, and it was a cheap ass price. And if I had to lock that price in, I would have been up like a thousand or more every time that that shit happened to me. But I would be too nervous to get in because I'm like, oh, maybe it'll keep going up. But it's like, bro, if that shit's selling off, that shit's selling off. You know what I'm saying? And if the chart showed that that shit's selling off, you could get in. And if you get in at that good price, you're gonna be up real quick. Because, I mean, you already know that the price was already higher just a minute ago. But because it rallied up a little bit, the price went down. And it's just, that's where it's like, that's where you're getting in your entry points and having a good entry point. That's why uh, watching the, the, the short time, the one minute chart is good for entry points and shit. Because even if that shit show is going down, if the shit rally, you're going to lose value in your put. And uh, the opposite, if you get a call, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you see that the shit is going up, but if you get in when that shit start going down or when the RSI too high, then you're going to lose value on your call, even though it's going to come back up later. It's just that you could have got a better entry point and made more money off of that shit. And uh, also, I didn't want to fucking spend more money to get in on this shit. That's why I got in early because I was like, bro, already, I'm pretty sure that this shit going to go back down and it start going back down. Like, um, as you can see, it start it start plummeting, and uh, the MACD about to start crossing down, which is a clear ass sign that yeah, this shit going down, bro. And I could ride this wave down, and then uh, once it break under three ninety five, that's an extra ass sign. Like yeah, bro, it broke support, shit going down, bro. But I was like, still sometimes you know what I'm saying it rallied back up again, and I don't want to be caught in that shit. That's why I so early. But yeah, so right here at the fucking um, 21 minute mark, uh, you can see that, um, what is it, uh, fucking, what is it, what is it, uh, yeah, that, that shit's starting to go down, excuse me, yeah man, I hate that I have rewinded this video a little bit when I was recording this vocals so these vocals might not be as matched up as they should be but hey it'll get better bro <laughs> we just gotta work with it man you know what I'm saying just gotta work with it baby but yeah so I had got in at this point at like 22 and it started going up a little bit because you, you see that the RSI had went down right and then it started going up again so I was like man fuck you know what I'm saying? Maybe I fucked up a little bit. But at the same time, I still had some conviction that that shit was going to start going down, bro. Because the RSI was pretty fucking high already. And, uh, yeah. The, over the day, it showed this shit going down. So I was like, yeah, bro. If I hold this shit, I'm going to make some money. But I was still nervous, though. Uh, that's why I didn't just keep holding that shit with complete conviction and confidence. Like, yeah, bro, I'm about to make a thousand. Because I could have made a thousand. But you don't want to get smoked, like the homie be saying. <laughs> you don't want to get too cocky and get smoked out this bitch. Like, lose all your money. But I feel like over time, I'm going I'm to be way more confident in this shit. Like, and be like, yeah, bro, for certain this shit about to do this. And then they just do that. And then I fucking make money. And the homies make money. We all make money. You know what I'm saying? And then we get the fuck out. I'm going to try to call these plays out earlier, too. But that's what I'm saying. The more confidence I have in myself about this, the fact that this shit going to do something. The more I'm going to post those shits. And we're going to guarantee make money off of that shit. Well, yeah.
got the PlayStation on deck. Oh man, I'm sorry about that. I ain't even check my damn messages, man. I'm almost at work. Have a good day, baby. I love you. Oh my goodness. Hey, but uh, all right. So I think in the video, uh, where are we at? Let me see. It's it's showing that it's going down. I think I had already got in. I mean, I did already get in on this shit. Yeah, but that's when that crazy ass candle happened. And uh it was up like two forty and then that shit was down like one twenty or some shit. And I was like, what the fuck going on right here? But then it just started going down.
and then it started going up a little bit, and I was like, man, fuck, I'm down some, but I already figured that that job was going to go down. Mm-hmm, you can. All right, yeah, uh, so I was seeing that it was still going down. I had started to get a little bit nervous though because I was like I was up and once I get up like 400 I think I move the screen over here so y'all can see it because I was about to start selling that shit see that shit just start selling off and I was just holding it but I was already in early before it confirmed uh, that it had broke support which is kind of risky but when you already know that it's going to do some shit it ain't that risky and that's why I should have just had more confidence in myself but It'll come with time, bro. Like, you ain't just about to be the best of the best in one day. I've been doing this shit for some years, and I lost plenty of money. But, hey, it wasn't for nothing, bro. And the money that I lost, I could get back quick as fuck. Hell yeah. And I will get it back. Hey, we back again with the book of Malachi. Book of Kings. Well, we're posting a new test. I mean, the New Testament, the Old Testament. Uh, a chapter a day I post on my IG, man. You know what I'm saying? Gotta dwell in the books, bro. So you can know some stuff. The most important stuff. Money is cool. But it ain't more important than the most high Yahuwah. Because if you got money. And you don't know, yeah. You could die the next day. Basically, you could have the most money in the world. And if you don't know Yahuwah, the name that they took out of the Old Testament, and they put the title God, uh, because God is not a name, it's a title. They took it out when they translated those scrolls from Hebrew to Greek. But yeah, as you can see on here, they, they start breaking 395. That that's you know that that shit going to keep going down. But yeah, they translated the name from Hebrew to Greek. Uh, they translated those scrolls. They took the name out because Yahuwah made them do that Yahuwah in the Old Testament it say that Yahuwah is going to hide Yahuwah itself from us and all that but yeah so that's why it's important but you see right here on my call I mean my put option I was up like 360 I ended up 
not selling that shit at that much because I was like, oh, maybe I could get a little bit more. And I was right that I could have got more. But once it started going up a little bit, I was like, man, fuck that. And I seen that the RSI was so low. I was like, this shit got a chance to rally a little bit and I could lose out on these gains. I should have sold it at that 420 right there. And I was about to win it because I was like, oh, once you get a 450, I'm going to sell that motherfucker so I could get it. I could guarantee the uh, 420 gain at least. But I ended up not even getting that much because uh, I was too nervous. I was like, oh, damn, man, I might end up losing gains. And I want to at least get $200 today. So once it started going up a little bit, I got the fuck out. I was like, fuck it. I seen that green candle coming. I was like, I ain't risking this shit, bro. I ain't risking it. That's what I was thinking. But then I, I was waiting a second. But then, yeah, when it started turning, because I think it started turning green again. And that's why I was like, man, fuck it. I'm about to just sell this shit because it, it started going down like a motherfucker. See, from 360 to fucking two something to 330. Yeah, that's when I was like, man, fuck. I fucked up already. Damn it. I'm already losing out. I missed out on like 400. It was like 270. I was like, yo, fuck that. I'm about to sell this shit. Yeah, 240. I was like, man, I can't wait. I ain't trying to lose none of them gains, bro. But if I had to just wait it, I would have been up a thousand. But I still got like 210, $210. But see, I didn't know how, how much that shit was going to pop up. You know what I'm saying? And then they end up just going right back down. It's like, if I had to wait it, bro. But you see that that's how you make money with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's good to be cautious, but I was still up again, you know what I'm saying? So I was happy with that shit. But I could have, like, tripled or doubled my money, bro. Like, shit crazy. Well, I definitely would have had, like, $1,000, so I could have had, like, more than that. Almost 2000 That shit crazy because this shit went from, like, Twenty-six dollars to like forty something dollars, bro. That shit crazy. I wonder what the fuck is that right now. Let's see. Uh, well, yeah, it rallied back up now. Well, no, it didn't really rally back up. Where is that shit? Oh, the one I was in, it went down already, though. So it had went up to, like, $42. I sold that shit at 24 I could have doubled my money, bro. But, hey, good thing I did get out, though, because now it's down to 20 So I would have been down a little bit if I had held that shit. Even though the stock price is down, it was just because I had got in on a put that was expiring today. And those shits, uh... They could double your, they could get money real quick off of that shit. But you gotta sell that shit quick too because you can't be on holding that shit because it's gonna expire today. So if it don't reach that threshold that it's at, you fucked. You about to lose all your money. That's why you gotta get in, get up, and get the fuck out. And maybe I should have sold the other one. But not, I mean, I guess not really though because this shit definitely should be gaining more value. Because it's not going down. But yeah, so that's basically it though. Uh yeah, I think that's like the end of the video. I hope that y'all learn from this. Have a great day, y'all.